and I'm gonna we're gonna go live. Once we are live on YouTube, I'll let you know. All right, you may begin. Good morning, everybody. This is so exciting. It's been a long weekend and you can't wait to start this lesson. I am so glad that you are as excited as I am. I am Marisha Williams. This is your grade one literacy lesson. Today is the fourth of May. I cannot believe that we are already in May. And what does May start with? Mm. May starts with mm. And it also starts with the same letter as my name, May. Marisha Williams. Yes, May Marisha. By the way, my birthday is also in May and it's such a special month. So what we will be what we will do today is we are going to read a rhyme and we are going to make a special book. These are the things that we will need. I hope you have a page ready, a pencil and a pair of scissors. I am so excited. All right. Wow. So let's have a look at what we have here. We are going to be reading this sentence, these sentences. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Is for many meals you made. Oh, is for how often I was bad. It's for the times I tried your patience. And huh, it's for your hugs when I was sad. Eh? It's for the extra special things you do. And hmm, it's for this rhyme you are reading. <gasps> what is this rhyme or who is this rhyme for? Who's this rhyme all about? Here's a word that's going down vertically. Mother. Mother. And all of these letters are spelling oh, out some special yes, things out. about what did she say? mother. Very good. So we are going to go over this again. Nothing, nothing. nothing. I can't even hear a thing. <laughs> So we're going to go over this again. So on this side, we have mother on the left side going down vertically. And then we are going to read what each letter is for. Mm -hmm. Is for many meals you made. Oh, is for how often I was bad. Is for the times I tried your patience. And is for, for your hugs when I was sad. Eh? Is for the extra special things you do. And her is for this rhyme you are reading. So we are quickly going to have some of you tell us what each line is that you thinking of that your special person, this special person does for you hmm? is for many meals you made me. So I would like to hear what's your favorite meal that your mommy makes for you. So let's see some hands going up.
let's see there's somebody putting up their hand what is your favorite meal that mommy makes for you Paul, can we get those hands that are going up? Can we select somebody whose hand is up? Um, can we get somebody whose hand is up? Spaghetti. Wow, that is so nice. Yes, let's hear somebody else. Mm. Say again. Macaroni. Macaroni. And what comes with the macaroni? Cheese. Oh, mac and cheese. That's lovely. Good. Is there anybody else? Let's Me. hear. Reese as well. A dog. Say again. Repeat that. My, uh, my, my favorite one is a dog. A hot dog that mommy makes. Ooh. Yes. That's amazing and I like that beautiful full sentence that you just gave. Fantastic. Let's go to the next one. O, or o is for how often I was bad. Ooh. Now those are the things that we should be working on. Hey, maybe you, maybe there's something that mommy's nagging you to stop doing. So let's hear some of the things that you must stop doing. That's not good. And mommy always nags for you to do this. Let's hear what are the things that you're doing that you should be working on? I can see all those hands that are going up. Okay. Let's hear, is that Uyanda? Right, are you ready to tell me? Say yes. Yes. Okay, so what are you going to tell me? What is there that you should be working on? That mommy always nags you to do for, for her or not to do. Cleaning. Oh, cleaning. Okay. Is mommy always nagging you to clean? Yes, ma'am. All right. And let's hear from somebody else. Maybe something that's not so good that you're doing that we must try to work on let's hear my mother say say must make a mess you must not make a mess okay mm -hmm. right good that's so that's from lisa right now we're going to go to the next one is for the times I tried your patience. Ooh, yeah. Now this is really where we are pushing mom's buttons. And mom, this is now where mom is really said, I have warned you so many times, you must not do this. And we must really try not to try mom's patience. There's somebody there raising his hand. <coughs> We've already heard from Uyanda. I would like to give somebody else a turn. Hey. Yes, there we go. Kutloano. Shadow. 
All right, we're going to go to the next one. That is for your hugs when I was sad. Can you think of a time when you were sad and you got a lovely hug from your mother? Can somebody share when they were sad? What happened when the mommy gave them a hug? Um. I fell. You fell and then you hurt yourself. Yes. And you got a hug. Who did you get a hug from? Mommy. From your mommy. And that almost made you feel so much better, hey? Yes. Yes, yes. absolutely. Yes. Let's hear from somebody else. I hit myself. You hurt yourself and then you got a, a hug. Who did you get a hug from? My mom. Excuse me. Sorry. From my your mommy. Mom. Yes. And didn't that make you feel so much better already, eh? Yes. Yes, absolutely. It is so special when we're getting a hug from such a special person. Mm -hmm. And then we go Go to the next letter, E or F, is for the extra special things you do. Oh, I'm already thinking of so many things when I think about extra special things. What are, what are the things that are extra special that mommy does for you? Mommy plays with me. Oh, absolutely. Yes, that's amazing. Yes. Somebody Buy else? toys. Buy I toys. Buy some cake. Buy some cake. Yes. My mom. Can you please switch off your camera? Um, Sive, please ask mom to switch off your camera or daddy. Let me hear. Say that again. My mommy keeps me happy. Absolutely. Oh, that's so special. And then the last one, R or is for the rhyme you are reading. Now, this is very special and this is for a mother but there are some children who doesn't have a, mom, a mommy there with them maybe mom's at work or maybe mom doesn't live with you but we all have somebody special who can be like a mother to you and some of you some children have their teacher that is their mother and now you're not at school to refer to teacher as your mother but otherwise it will be your dad that will then play the role as your mother so not everybody is fortunate to really have their moms with them and we're really thinking about those others but there are people around you that can that you can look up to that is your mother that you're going to make this that you can make the special gift for all right so we are quickly going to go over and read the letters again because this is what you are going to use for your booklet that you are going to make. So just mother, okay. So let's go over this again and we say M mm is for the, for many meals you made. O oh is for how often I was bad is for the times I tried your patience, is for your hugs when I was sad, it is for the extra special things no. you do, no. and R no. is for no. rhyme you no. are reading. No. So no. we are just no. going to remember we are just going to remember this word on this side over here. 
and then you will draw pictures for each of the letter sounds. So what is this rhyme about? We've already answered that question. We said that this is about mother. Now there is something special coming up on Sunday. Does anybody know what is happening on Sunday? No. You don't know? Let's find out if there's somebody who knows. What is happening on Sunday? On Sunday, it's going to be Mother's Day. Yes, absolutely. That's so exciting. So let's get ready. And now we are going to make our book. Okay. Yes. So ready? You ready? Don't look at. The, don't worry about that picture. We are going to start over here. You have your page. And we are just going to fold it in half and I'll show you now everything that you need to do. All right, don't cut. Um, uh, so here it comes. You need help with All right. a book. Okay, so are you... Let's start. So... There you have your page. You're going to fold it in half. Fold it in half and press it nice and flat. And you're going to fold it in half again like that. And press it nice and flat. I think I'm going to pause there and go back and we can start again. So you've got your page, watch carefully. I can play it again once we're done, don't worry. Right, so we've got that page, fold it in half like that. Press it nice and flat. Okay. Then you're going to fold it over in half again. Mm -hmm. Make sure that you're pressing it very nice and flat, 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 flat. flat. Mm -hmm. And then it's going to go over yeah. again in half. Fold over again oh. in half. Like that. Very nice and flat. Press it flat, flat, flat. Okay, right, so you open it up like that. So you've got all those folds, watch carefully. I'm going to pause over there. Can you see how I open it up now? And we are going to make a cut on the side where it's folded. Okay, I hope everybody's on that step now. So you see there, we are going to cut it from the fold to the next fold. All right. And I'm just making sure those folds are nice and flat. Open up your page and then we are going to fold it over like that. I am going to play that again. So if there's somebody that's still struggling there, we are going to play this again. Do it again. Okay, so from the start again, you've got your page. You can just go over the folds again. So in half. Oh, uh, ma'am, can you please going. start it over? I didn't see nicely. All right, oh, we're starting mom. again. Ma'am. So 
all we're going to do is we are going to fold it in half, in half, in half, again and again and again. Okay. So you've got your page folded over in half. Oh, ma'am, can you please touch it off? I didn't see nicely. And we fold over in half again. Ma'am, can you please start it again? Oh, shame. Let's do that over again. Please ask dad or mom to just help you with the folds because it can be a bit tricky for your little hands. We are going to fold the page in half, in half again, and then again in half. Okay. Fold over in half. Okay. You got that step. In half, make sure that you press it nice and flat. Nice and flat. Next step, we're going to fold over in half again. Press that nice and flat, flat, flat. All right. And then you're going to fold it over again in half again. Fold it over again in half. Make sure that you press it nice and flat. Okay, then we're going to open it up again until we get to the first fold. You see, that was the first fold, open it up. Then you will see your page in half. There are four blocks. Can you see the four blocks in there? You see the folds? Yeah. Yes, then we are going to cut here where the page is folded. Okay, this side. So watch. Mom, I didn't see it nicely. I'm so confused. Oh, shame. Where's mommy to help you or daddy? I'm sorry, there. I went back again now. Okay. So, daddy must just help with all the folds. Okay, so that is halfway again. So there we are going to cut. We're going to cut on that line. Like that. So I'm just making sure that all my folds are nice and flat again. And then we open it up. You fold it like that. Can you see that mouth that's opening up there? And the folds will guide you to just make your booklet. Okay, so all you want is that little slit there in the middle. Then you have your booklet. Okay, so there you have your booklet. Right. So there you would have your booklet. Ma'am? Yes? I don't understand. 
okay we're going to have to look for the we're going to have to look for that video and how to send how to follow those instructions okay you can watch this again later and then just fold your page in half just follow all the half lines and you fold it okay just ask mom or dad to help you I want to see the again how it Hello? Yes, darling. Can you start the job? I didn't see it nicely. Okay, we're going to we're going to have to move on now. And I just want to show the others, the rest of the children, how or what are we going to write on the inside? Okay. Okay, is mom, there, is mom there to help? Yeah. All you're going to do is just fold the page in half, in half, in half again. Okay, can I just quickly go over then we say what's going to go on the inside of the book? Yes, ma'am. Yes, all right. So... We have your cover page. We're going to have the cover then where you are just going to lie down the the mum for mommy or your picture for mom. Okay? And then on the inside you are going to do the letters for mother. There are enough pages to write down mother. Okay, so on each page you are going to write down one letter. M, O, T, H, E and R. And for each letter you are going to write down or draw a picture of a special thing that mother is doing for you so for the mm, you are going to draw a picture of the your special meal your your favorite meal that mom cooks for you and oh something that you need to work on so maybe a picture of how well you want to behave yourself and something that mother tells you always to stop doing or that you need, really need to work on you're going to try and work on maybe a picture of how you got hurt and a hug and the e, e something extra special that mom does for you and then for the r you are going to do any picture over there okay her reading this rhyme so for each page, you are going to draw a special picture of what mother means to you. And on the cover page, you are going to draw a picture perhaps of you and mom and write down the mm on the cover page. So now I'm going to go over the video again and play that for you again. So the, vid, so the card or the booklet you are going to do all by yourself and I'm going to play the video to you one more time. Okay. Maybe we can go over these pictures over here. Yeah. So you've got your page. There's your page that you have. Fold it over in half like that. Fold it over. In half, halfway like that. Then you're going to fold it again and again. So follow those prompts there on that page. And I'm doing it again now with you. Fold it over again. halfway and make sure that you're pressing it nice and flat and again 
Can you see with this picture over here? You only cut. When you fold it over like that, you only cut on that line until you get until you get to the next fold. So this could be easier for you, but it can also confuse you. So I'm going to play the video for you now. But you will only have a fold like that. A cut like that. So I'm going to play the video to you quickly. To show you where the cut must be. You see you fold it in half once, twice, that's the second time in half and then for the third time in half. Okay, I'm doing it with you now. Then you're going to open it. You open it on your first fold that you made. Then you will see your card, your booklet has four blocks in it. Can you see now you are going to make that cut from the first fold until you get to that middle there. So you only cut until you get to that line in the middle and all I'm doing now is just making sure that I've pressed down all the folds nice and flat right then you open Hello? up your page and fold it over horizontally like that and then you are just going to press all of those flat and then you have a booklet Okay, I hope that everybody has their booklets. Yes. This is going to be very exciting. Mom and dad or whoever's helping you must really try and get those folds nice and flat. Did you get that right? Who struggled to get their booklet? Me. Oh, shame. Me, oh. Who's there? Is there somebody there that can help you? Okay, so dads, you are going to have to practice that again. All you have to do is just fold the page over in half three times and just cut a slit open so that the book can fold over. All right. So that's going to be your homework for today. If you were still struggling, you must going to have to try really hard to figure out how to complete that booklet. Again, who's that? Is that my audio sound again not working very nicely? Marisha, we can hear you. Oh, you can hear me? Yes. Okay. Okay. So, 
girls and boys, you are going to complete your booklet by yourself by drawing a special picture for each letter on your booklet. Do a cover page and write your name. And I hope that you're going to figure this one out. This is so sad that the teacher isn't there to help, but I'm sure somebody will be able to figure this out with you. Okay. 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 This is so exciting for me to hear how you are very, very busy making the booklet and trying to make this work out. So, I would really like to see some pictures of how your books look. This is going to be so exciting. Are you going to finish your books for today? Yes. Yes, fantastic. And I'm very excited. I would love to see some pictures of the books that you're doing. And we are going to keep these special booklets. We're going to we're going to keep we to keep this. Okay. And then on Sunday perhaps we give it we give it to mom. Okay. All right. So this is the end of our lesson. And now, for tomorrow again, we are going to read a card and we're going to make a card. So, helping you today must come again tomorrow to come and assist because we will be doing some cutting again tomorrow. Maybe it won't be as difficult as today's one. Okay. So, tomorrow, there are so many people keeping up their hands now. Tomorrow we're going to make a card again. Your help, your help is must be there again tomorrow to help you. Again, but it's not going to be as difficult as the dance booklet. Okay. Right. So let's hear. Are you ready to say goodbye? And I hope that you are going to enjoy making those booklets. Yes. Right. Yes. Yes. Goodbye, yes. everybody. Goodbye. Let's say goodbye, everybody. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Uh, I think it's a good question, my dad.